When the Nazis rose to power in Germany, they brought forward a reign of terror that would be remembered in infamy. The Nazis would loot art from Jewish people, and they would go on to further persecute and also would steal from anyone who may possess art that was considered valuable. This art could then go to Hitler's Führer Museum that he dreamed to build in Linz, the city near his birthplace. Art was also stolen in order to be destroyed to erase parts of culture that the Nazis found to be unacceptable. The Nazis would steal and destroy some of the art that was not to the taste of Adolf Hitler and set out to destroy art that he considered to be degenerate. It's estimated today that there are around 10,000 pieces of art stolen by the Nazis that still have not been recovered. Hitler decreed that all Nazi art stolen was to be destroyed to stop the Allies from recovering the art. Today we look at some of the most famous pieces of art that still haven't been recovered. The Portrait of a Young Man by Raphael One of the most famous pieces of art stolen, Poland considered this piece of art by Raphael to be the most important piece of art taken from their country. Painted in 1513, some historians think it is a self-portrait. During World War II, it was housed in a museum in Poland. As the Nazis advanced, it was hidden away, however was eventually found by the Gestapo under the rule of Hans Frank. Frank then ordered this painting to be taken to his home in Krakow and it was later shipped to Berlin to be part of the Führer Museum. In January 1945, Frank took the painting back to Krakow to decorate Warwell Castle. This would be the last place the painting would be seen. Finally, Frank had the painting moved to his house, however during his arrest, the painting was not recovered. It is estimated today to be worth over $100 million. The Painter on the Road to Tarascon by Vincent van Gogh This painting, created by the infamous van Gogh, was painted in 1888. It shows a painter walking through a leaf-littered path in the autumn. It originally was in the Kaiser Friedrich Museum, however was reported missing. It was thought to be moved to the Stasfurt salt mines. On April 12, 1945, the Allies bombed Magdeburg and the museum, and people believe that the destruction and the fires destroyed the painting, along with the salt mines. It was thought that all the art stored there was missing, however one painting from there has resurfaced, keeping hope alive that this painting still exists. An Angel with Titus Features by Rembrandt Rembrandt is one of the world's most famous painters, however there is very little known about this painting. It was catalogued as missing by the art loss register following the Nazi invasion of France. It was kept in a chateau in France, however was taken in 1943 and sent to Paris. Intended for Hitler's museum, Hitler had a great respect for the old masters and would certainly have wanted a Rembrandt in his museum. This piece is still missing, even though 162 pieces of art have now been recovered. The Piazza Santa Margherita by Canaletto The Italian painter Canaletto became known for his paintings of Venice. His paintings became highly sought after at the start of his career. This painting was part of a collection of a Jewish art dealer called Jacques Goodsticker, who lived in the Netherlands. He attempted to flee the Nazis in 1940, but ended up falling and broke his neck on board a boat. His art collection was then looted by the Nazis. Over 1,100 paintings were taken. Some of the Goodsticker collection has been found, however this Canaletto still remains missing. Vase of Flowers by Jan von Huysen This painting was stolen by German soldiers from the Palatine Gallery in Florence in Italy. It was last seen in a hillside villa in Italy, where it was being stored in 1944. The painting today is still unaccounted for, however investigators believe it is in the hands of a private collector. This means it can be difficult to return the painting to its rightful owners. An investigator believes it is in the hands of a private collector in Germany, where the statute of limitations on stolen property is 30 years, meaning that there might be no legal requirement to return the painting. Five Dancing Women by Degar This painting by Degar was part of the collection of Baron Herzog, who was known for having one of the greatest collections of art in the whole of Europe. It was the largest collection in Hungary and featured more than 2,500 works of art. Dying in 1934, Herzog passed his collection to his wife and then after her death, his children. In 1944, Hungary began to force their Jewish population to register their art and also began to send their Jews to the death camps. The Herzogs attempted to save their art by hiding it in the factory basement, but it was discovered. Today part of the Herzog collection is on display in museums, however this piece by Degar is still missing with the family still attempting to find its location. Portrait of a Young Man by Hans Memling Completed in the 15th century, this painting is small, measuring around 14 inches by 9 inches. 
It was stolen by Nazi soldiers of the 305th Infantry Division around August 22, 1944. The painting was unloaded on a truck which stopped at Forley in Italy on August 31, 1944. After this, the truck then disappeared. No one is sure what happened to the truck or where it went. In 1963, two paintings stolen at the same time resurfaced in California, owned by a German waiter. Some believe that the painting could have easily been taken and hidden under a coat, later possibly being sold on by a German soldier who wanted to make some money. Portrait of a Young Woman by Caravaggio Measuring 23 inches by 14 inches, this Caravaggio features a young woman touching some flowers towards her chest. It has not been seen since 1945. It was moved to a Berlin flat tower for storage. It was placed there to protect it due to the fact that the Nazis believed the reinforced concrete structures were the perfect place to store art. They believed the flat towers would be immune from Allied bombing. In May 1945, it was still thought that the painting was in a tower. However, when the Soviets arrived, it became very difficult to keep a tight watch on where the paintings were stored. In the same month, a fire was started in the flat tower, and it was believed that all the art was destroyed. However, in 2011, a painting that was believed to have been destroyed in the fire turned up for auction in New York, giving people hope that this Caravaggio would have survived the tower. At a later date, we will cover the works of art stolen by the Nazis that were recovered. What does remain is the fact that the Nazi legacy towards the desecration of culture and art still lives on into the 21st century. The Monuments Men Foundation still to this day try to work towards finding the whereabouts of these amazing pieces of art, and also the thousands more pieces of art still missing today. Thank you for watching The Untold Past. To support the channel, please subscribe. Thanks again for watching.